So we are here with uh, Jeff Kurian, and uh, I'm making an interview for Gabi Bukharia. And I'm just wondering that uh, you are a black belt in Jiu-Jitsu, you are a ADCC, UFC, Pride, and uh, strike for Italy. Tell us for our ego that you cannot cook or you have a very bad time writing because our ego is very hard. How, how do you become so strong in every aspect of the fight? I can't cook. <laughs> good, so we are happy. As Italian, we are <laughs> I can eat. Though. Okay, good. How, how do you train? How many, how, how many years have you been training for being? Uh, martial arts since I was five years old. Okay. You know, uh, but Jiu Jitsu, 17 years. Jiu Jitsu okay. and Thai boxing, 17 years. Okay. Yeah. Four fights, you know, five hours a day. Like, Maybe train for two months, three months, five hours a day. And other than that, once a day for two hours, just train, okay. teach class. And how is your training? How is your training regime during a normal, uh, let's say, weekday? Not be, not the way when you start waiting for a, a match. Uh, I teach jujitsu and uh, train my fighters sometimes, and uh, just train with those guys, you know, for fun. Okay. Put my gear on and, and train. Okay. Have you got some uh, good uh, new upcoming fighter in your gym and you train with? Yeah. Some big names we have to look for. Yes, sure. I have a few of those guys. Uh, one is my cousin, Pat Curran, Patrick Curran. Okay. He's a very good fighter, featherweight. And uh, another kid uh, coming up, his uh, name is Joey, Joey Deal. Okay. He's 125 pounder. Okay. But he's going to be, one's going to be tough, real tough. Very good. I am small and built like you are, and so tell us some suggestion for us, small people like us uh, to beat and choke and uh, some from bigger people, maybe like him or who. <laughs> you have to uh, trick them, you know? Yeah. Uh, train with big guys, let them, let them get tired. Okay. You know, you let them get tired and hide and be, be afraid and then sneak on. Okay. Get their back, you know. Choke. Yeah, so the back and uh, the best. Back Just the best. Okay, perfect. Let me see. Mm, you are a master bottom G and not E for ADCC. You are competing at top level in my world. Which is the difference between the two styles? And what do you, I mean, when you fight for MMA, you, you train with the bots or just without the I train both all the time. Uh, but the gi, with the gi, make it more technical. Okay. It's, it's a more difficult game. Okay. With no gi, it's more uh, basic. Okay. More basic, and you can scramble like a slip away from moves. With the gi, you can't slip out. You have to know the escape. You know? Okay. So you think uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and uh, grappling like submissions will have a space in the future, or one will prevail over the other? I think they all survive. They all survive. They all survive in separate and as a MMA. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And do you think, speaking about MMA, that really MMA is going to be the biggest sport by 2002, 2020, like Dana says? Or yes, I, I, I think so. But do you think we need it, or it's better to stay a little, not really underground, but in the middle? No, I think bigger the better. The, the bigger the better, the more sector is, but don't you feel they are... For the fighters to make money, because there's not enough money in the ah, Okay. But it's not a problem that maybe they still start cutting more rules and become too much of sport, or don't you think so? Then that's a problem. But getting big is not a problem. Yeah. But to change the rules would be a problem. Because the rule. What do you think about the rule now? Respect the rule like ten years ago, or maybe the pride versus the other fight rules. I fight back when when I start. We have no gloves. Yeah. No, no gloves. No weight class. No time limits. So I, I, I miss those rules. But now when I get older, I like the rules. You know, yeah. I'm more safe. Yeah, of yeah, course. <laughs> Let me say, just I think we are already over. What's your future? You're in fight force now. No, no, I'm going back to the WC in 2010, but okay. I don't have a fight schedule right now. Uh -huh. yeah. So you are just training normal schedule and training up Yeah, just relaxing, training, traveling. Uh, maybe going to try to fight one more time before I go to uh, back to the WC, but I don't know. Okay, good. So, so you're traveling a lot and giving a lot of... Uh, yes, we went to Iceland, uh, London. Okay. Maui, here in Italy, all around the place. 
not yet out of uh, Saudi Arabia, because now I think that in 20 years, Saudi Arabia is going to be the center of uh, Jiu-Jitsu, probably. Don't you start? Not yet. We had a few, few offers, however, but nothing yet. Okay. Perfect. I think it's over. Thank you very much. Can you say hello to our group in Italia fast? Also in Italia. <laughs> in English. <laughs> in English. Yeah. Hello to the grappling Italia, Italia fans. And thank you to Academia Academy for hosting us.